We all want our children to get a quality education. This year, there is a new push to give students and parents more choices. Today, the Lieutenant Governor of Texas said he'd put his shoulder weight behind plans to give public vouchers to help children go to private schools. As KXAN education reporter Aaron Cargill explains, vouchers were shot down last year and remain controversial. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick making it clear he won't back down on giving parents more educational options. There's not a person in this room, not a person who would allow their child to go to a school that's been a failure for three years. He's confident the Senate will give some parents cash to send their kids to private schools, but convincing the House will be much harder. Last session, there were several proposals, all shot down. The main difference is where the money would come from. Round Rock ISD opposes a state-funded voucher program. It's not that we're, uh, we're worrying about we're going to have a mass exodus. What we're worried about is that students are not going to be receiving the same quality of education if they're going to programs that don't have the same state standards that public schools have. But Brentwood Christian in North Austin would argue they do have high academic standards. I know there are people who want to be here who can't afford it. But President Marquita Moss has not been a fan of the voucher plans either. There were so many strings attached to them. But beyond that, we don't want government funding. A high school parent pays seven grand a year for their child to go here. They do want to grow, just not on the state's dime. Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. What Brentwood Christian School would like to see is a scholarship program that would give businesses tax credits if they donate money to help students in low-performing schools transfer to other schools. And for a broader look, right now 13 states and Washington, D.C. have some sort of school voucher. We looked into the details of each program, and almost all of the states treat the vouchers as scholarships, according to the National Conference of State Legislatures. Like most scholarships, students have to qualify. The 10 states in green have programs specifically for students with certain learning and physical disabilities. Some states, shown in blue here, provide vouchers based on a family's income. And states like Ohio, Arizona, and Wisconsin provide the scholarships for students in poor performing or inner city districts or in rural communities that don't have schools.